What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel and first of all I hope you guys have a good day and before we start the video let me ask you if we can reach 350 likes in this video so please smash the like button don't forget to leave a like it is really really important also don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel enjoy the video guys let's go Ok guys let's start this, Havertz has finally completed his medical with Chelsea on Sunday and signed his 5 year contract. Chelsea paid 80 million euros up front to buy Leverkusen plus 20 million euros in add-ons. Germany striker Kevin Volon has completed the move to Monaco from Bayer Leverkusen as well. The French outfit confirmed the 28 years old arrival via their official website on Tuesday. Volon, who scored 50 goals in 148 games for Leverkusen, has signed a 4 year contract. Philip Max has signed a 4 year contract with PSV for a fee in the region of 8 million euros. Alexander Kolarov signed his contract with Inter until June 2021. He will also have an option for the second season. And now we start with the rumors, Manchester City are still in talks with Napoli to sign Koulibaly but no agreement has been reached yet. It is a slow negotiation and the player is waiting for final decisions too. The Reds are reportedly keen on a defender who stepped into the Dutchman's place for the Scottish champions. Liverpool are keen on signing Celtic defender Christopher Ager, according to the Daily Star. Ager, who moved into central back for the Scottish champions after Van Dijk left to sign for Premier League side Southampton, could move to Wentfield and link up with the Dutchman. He is reportedly one of two more signings Jurgen Klopp is targeting this summer, having sold central defender Dejan Lovren to Zenit. Newly promoted Premier League side West Bromwich Albion want to boost their attacking options by signing Michi Batshuayi from Chelsea, according to Football Insider. The 26-year-old Belgium international is on the fringes of the first team picture at Stanford Bridge and has been bumped further down the pecking order by the arrival of Timo Werner this summer. West Bromwich are reportedly keen to sign Batshuayi on a season-long loan, however Chelsea are said to want to sell permanently for around 28 million euros as the forward is in the final year of his contract. Arsenal will not have the option to purchase Dani Ceballos from Real Madrid even if he moves on loan to Emirates Stadium for a second time, according to Diario Madridista. Real Madrid are keen for Ceballos to continue gaining first in football at Arsenal, but feel he could eventually start at Santiago Bernabeu and are not willing to risk letting him go permanently. Athletic Madrid are close to completing the signing of Getafe defender Matias Oliveira, according to Mundo Deportivo. Los Rose Blancos want the 22 year old to come in and provide competition for Renan Lodi at the left back position. Getaf are hopeful that Athletic will loan Victor Molejo to Coliseum Alfonso Perez as part of the deal, which is likely to be finalized in the coming days. According to reports, Barcelona have not been in contact with Liverpool over a potential deal for Vinaldo. Ronald Koeman has reportedly set his sights on the Netherlands international with a 15 million euros deal believed to be in the works. However, Barca have yet to make a formal approach for Vinaldo, who still has one year left to run on his current contract at Liverpool. Lionel Messi's father and agent has opened the door to a move to Manchester City, admitting it will be difficult for the six-time Ballon d'Or winner to remain at Barcelona. A future at Barcelona? It is difficult, it will be difficult to say, Jorge Messi told El Chiringuito. I have not talked with Pep Guardiola, there's nothing yet with Manchester City. Aston Villa are in pole position to sign Manchester United goalkeeper Sergio Romero according to The Athletic. Everton have also been linked with the Argentine, who is eager to secure a move away from Old Trafford after playing second fiddle to David De Gea for the past 5 years. United currently value Romero at around 11 million euros and may be open to include the 33 year old as a make weight in any possible deal for Villa talisman Jack Grealish. Liverpool are still working to get Thiago Alcantara, Bayern Munich are now convinced they are gonna receive the new bid from Liverpool soon, Jurgen Klopp is pushing again for Thiago. Manchester United only had contacts with his agent at the moment, nothing advanced between the clubs according to Fabrizio Romano. 
Gonzalo Higuain's agent has revealed that he has received offers from England, Spain and MLS for the exit-bound Juventus striker. He has received offers from France, England, Spain, China and USA clubs, but not the ones that could make you go weak at the knees. The forward's brother and representative Nicolas Higuain told Tuto Sport, We will make our evaluation carefully, but two things I can say for sure. Gonzalo Higuain will no longer play in Italy, and most of all he will never play for Boca Juniors. He grew up at River Plate and he would never join their rivals. Retiring? This is nonsense. The time has not come yet. He wants to play. How long he will play? It's up to him. But he wants to keep playing. Maybe he will return to Argentina in the future, but not now. Bayern Munich has confirmed that Philip Coutinho has returned to Barcelona. Wolverhampton goalkeeper Sarkic has joined a team that I cannot pronounce on loan for the 2020-2021 season. Benicio Baker Boaiti has joined Porto Youth Academy from West Ham. West Bromish Albion have reached an agreement to sign Grady Diangana from West Ham on a permanent deal, according to Sky Sports. The 22-year-old spent the 2019-2020 season on loan at the Hawthorns, scoring 8 goals in 30 championship appearances. The Baggies are ready to fork out a club record fee of 20 million euros to bring Diangana onto their books ahead of their return to the Premier League. Manchester United midfielder Fred is the subject of interest from Rome, according to Calcio Mercato. The Giallo Rossi want to bring in the Brazilian on loan with the option to buy, as Paulo Fonseca looks to reinforce his squad ahead of the new season. Fred still has three years left to run on his current contract with United, but the impending arrival of Donny van de Beek from Ajax could see him slip down the squad pecking order. Arsenal left-back Kolasinac is interested in a return to Schalke, according to Bild. Kolasinac was a fan favorite with the Royal Blues before joining the Gunners in 2017 and has recently told friends of his desire to return home. A move could prove financially challenging for cash-strapped Schalke, with Kolasinac having a contract in North London through 2022. Real Madrid defender Sergio Reguilon has admitted he may be forced to leave Santiago Bernabeu. The 23-year-old spent last season on loan at Seville, where he helped Roland Lopetegui's men to a 4th place finish in La Liga and an Europa League title. Saudi club Al Nasr have bid 16 million euros for Atalanta United midfielder Gonzalo Piti Martinez, reports Thai Sports. Aston Villa is in talks to sign Bournemouth striker Colm Wilson, reports BBC. The 28-year-old is hoping to stay in the Premier League after the Cherries relegation, with Villa looking to secure the England striker with a 22 million euros bid. Villa are also close to signing Nottingham Forest right back Matty Cash for around 18 million euros. Newcastle are in talks over a deal with former Bournemouth winger Ryan Fraser, according to the Times. Fraser is a free agent after leaving the Cherries in June, having spent 8 years with the club. The 26-year-old could become Newcastle's second summer signing after Jeff Hendrick joined from Burnley. Gareth Bale has hit out at Real Madrid saying his current club makes things very difficult as he continues to look for an exit. The 31-year-old is looking for more game time after making just two appearances in La Liga after the coronavirus break ended in June. Everton have agreed a fee of around 22 million euros for Watford midfielder Dokure, according to the Times. The 27-year-old will join a rebuilt Tofis midfield, with the club also set to add Allen and James Rodriguez in the coming days. Bournemouth forward Josh King has outlined his desire to join Manchester United. King nearly moved to Old Trafford in January and has now admitted that he would be amazing if the Red Devils were still interested. The 28-year-old has said his dream is to play in the Champions League. Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis has said that star duo Koulibaly and Milic are on the way out transfer market permitting. Koulibaly has been strongly linked with a move to Manchester City, while Milic appears close to joining either Juventus or Rome. 
And talking about Rome, they have reopened talks with Manchester United to sign Chris Smalling on a three-year deal claims Gianluca Di Marzio. After impressing on loan with the club last season, Smalling is wanted back in Rome with the Serie A side confident they can secure the defender's return. Juventus are considering including a series of bonuses that would financially benefit Barcelona to ensure they allow Luis Suarez to leave the club, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. Suarez has all but agreed to personal terms with the Serie A champions and Juve are hopeful of getting a deal done by offering Barca a long-term sweetener rather than any upfront fee. Portuguese league side Estoril Praia have confirmed the deal has been struck to send Totti Gomes to Wolverhampton. The 21-year-old defender has been with Estoril since 2017 and he's primarily used at the left-back position. Contrary to what I reported a few videos ago, now Real Madrid's Mariano Diaz won't be joining Benfica after the club pulled out of a loan deal, reports record the Portuguese newspaper. Everything was set for the player to sign with Benfica on loan, but Benfica's recent signing of Darwin Nunes has seen them abandon interest. Benfica has paid a club record fee of 25 million euros for Darwin Nunes, the player signed a 5-year deal with the club. AC Milan could finalize a deal for Chelsea midfielder Bakayoko in the next 24 hours, reports Gianluca Di Marzio. The Rossoneri have made progress in trying to strike a deal for the 26-year-old, who spent the 2018-2019 season on loan with the club. Croatian defender and reported Leeds United target Joško Grivdiao has started following the newly promoted Premier League club on Instagram. The Dinamo Zagreb centre-back, valued at around 20 million euros, is regarded as one of Croatia's most promising upcoming talents. And to finish the video guys, Tottenham have inquired about re-signing Christian Eriksen from Inter according to transfer market expert Fabrizio Romano. Romano said Spurs asked about bringing back a player who starts just 11 of a possible 25 games for Inter in the second half of 2019-2020, but were flatly turned down by the Milan side. He told the last word on Spurs podcast two weeks ago, one of my sources told me Tottenham were asking to take Christian Eriksen back, but immediately after, like two hours after, I spoke with Inter and they told me there is no chance to see Christian Eriksen back at Tottenham. So this is not a possibility. We reached the end of the video guys, like I said in the beginning, our goal for today's video is 350 likes, so please don't forget to leave a like, it only takes one second of your time and it is really really important. Also don't forget to leave a comment, that's really really important for me and for the channel to grow. And finally subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me and watching my content. Stay safe, have a good day guys, I'm Defaults and I'll see you in the next video.